before I start this video, let me just say, uh, I have quite a lot of empties here, as you can see. So let's just get straight to it. I have my iced coffee. I'm gonna be doing a lot of talking in this video. I'm gonna get straight into my empties because I have so many and for some reason I also have cleaning empties. I'm gonna save those till the end. I'll explain more about that later. But first of all, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that I was talking about this Body Shop candle. This was sent to me ages ago and it's from their Spa of the World collection in the scent Ethiopian Green Coffee. The candle actually smells really nice. I hated it when they first sent it to me, kind of forgot about it for a few years, tried to burn it recently and it just tunnels. I tried the foil trick. It just doesn't stay alight for more than like two seconds. I tried to dig it out deeper like with a knife, um, tried loads of different things and I basically just gave up on it. So I'm really sad because I hate throwing candles away. Like it's such a waste and this obviously was isn't gonna be cheap, but there's just nothing that I can do about it. And this is what I mean. You will have seen it on Instagram because I was crying about this for a number of days, but it's time to say goodbye to that one. I'm gonna go through a couple of hair products first, I think. I'm gonna try and do this in some sort of order this time around. In terms of hair products, the Boots Curl Cream, um, you guys know that I go through numerous pots of these. I'm actually running low on my stash and I'm trying not to like online shop during this isolation period unless it's for things I absolutely need just because I'm not going anywhere. I don't need new clothes and I feel like delivery people have enough on their hands with the rest of the world just shopping constantly. Do you know what I mean? So I don't need to use my good stuff, which instead means my cheap stuff. I've been trying to finish off old products because I just want to get rid of them. God knows if they still make this, but this is the Dove Quench Absolute like cream thing. Cream serum. Oh, that explains why it has a weird texture. It's like a serum-y. It's for dry, coarse, curly hair. It's okay. I didn't think this was the best thing. It just had a really weird texture to it. It did work. Like, it tamed my frizz and things like that. But I just didn't like the way that it felt on my hands. But on my hair, it felt really good. It left it really, like, soft and smooth. So... It might be a good one if you don't like things that leave your hair quite coarse and stiff, like mousse. This hair product is it's the Kerastase Discipline range. It's called Oleo Curl, and it's a definition and suppleness cream for unruly, curly hair, which is basically mine. I love the smell of this. Like, this smells divine. I had the shampoo years ago, which I finished. I also have a hair mask, which I'm currently trying to use up, and they all smell incredible. But this was sent to me, and... Kerastars is not cheap. I'm never gonna repurchase this because it's tiny. This would have lasted me two weeks if I'd just used it. But as much as I love the smell of it, I didn't really like this because it was so thin and watery that I like squeeze a load into my hand and it would like drip through my fingers. And then like, if I try and put it in my hair, it would drip off and it was just a bit weightless. And I just didn't, like not in my hair, just the actual product and I wasn't the biggest fan of this, but I've used it up now, so I'm glad. I also used up the Eucerin shampoo. It's the Calming Urea shampoo from their Dermo Cap Capillaire collection. I don't know. This, I mean, I don't like this shampoo because it's sulfate free or whatever, and it doesn't like foam, but I get a really dry, irritated scalp every so often. And so I have to go back to this because it's just a very nice, calming shampoo that doesn't irritate my skin and it doesn't like make it all flaky and look like dandruffy so it's good for that but I, it's not something i would use all the time because it just really annoys me because i just as much as i know it's bad for you i just love shampoos that like foam up because i really feel like they're actually working and doing something to my hair so yeah i've used one of these up and i have quite a few more like i'll always repurchase them just because my hair likes them every every now and again another hair product i finished is this frizzy's serum it's their miraculous recovery cream serum and it's for curly hair you can apply it to wet or dry hair i really like this but i like I really like this. I think I've recently repurchased the one for straight hair. The curly hair one was nice, but I just don't have space for it in my hair routine. So, like, I will wash my hair and I will literally just stick on this Boots Curl Cream. And so, this doesn't really fit into my routine anywhere. So, I've had it for years. I know they've changed the packaging of this now because I saw it in the shops recently. It is a really nice serum. I just don't have any space for it in my life. So, I haven't repurchased it. But it's a good one, I guess, if you have like short hair and 
it's not as frizzy or it's thin and you don't need to use a ton of product because that is great so next up really randomly i have these two hand washes they're from bayless and harding ignore the scuzzy bottle on this one it's obviously been in my bathroom they bring out these like limited edition ones every so often and when i go to like the supermarket or wherever i will buy like five to ten okay not ten like maybe like five hand washes or toothpastes in one go because who wants to like buy them every week? Do you know what I mean? So I pick these up probably before Christmas and they're both ginger and lime and I really liked them actually. I also bought espresso martini, which I finished ages ago. I don't think I liked that one. And I have a gin and tonic one in my kitchen, which I can see is kind of running low. And I don't know if I like that one or not. The gin and tonic's okay. The espresso martini was awful, but I just don't like alcohol scented like things because it's just a bit weird. The ginger and lime was my favourite though. This one's got a bit of water in it. I tried to water it down because the shops have obviously sold out of hand wash when everyone started stockpiling when this whole situation first happened. So I was trying to make the most of it, but I managed to get some new hand wash in the end. I can't believe I finally finished my industrial size pixie glow tonic. And the funny thing about this, first of all, I love it. I will always repurchase this. Like I need this in my life and i have so many like travel minis and whatever on the go as well the reason this took me about what was it like three years i think i posted on instagram it took me about three years to finish this because last year i was hardly at home i don't obviously travel with this this is massive so pixie very kindly had said obviously sent me this one but they sent me out a new one ages ago and it was just gathering dust in its box so i finally finished this i posted it on instagram and i posted the photo but I when this first arrived and I was like oh my god it's been exactly like three or four years to the date since I finished this and then I opened up my second one and a week later Pixie have sent me a third one so now I have one that I'm currently using which is like still this full and I've got a brand new one already so Pixie very kindly have like stocked me up for the next probably five years at least i just love glow tonic it is such a great product and yeah i would totally repurchase it if pixie didn't like keep me stocked up with it because i love it next i have a shower gel this is a large a very large original source mango shower gel i don't even remember finishing this can't smell much um i love original source i always use their shower gels mango is not my favorite i mean this was nice enough but it's not my favorite scent i just love the lemon or the lime like the zingy ones like really wake you up in the morning but not the mint one it's a bit harsh that one. <laughs> oh another body empty that i have is this lynx shower gel it's a tract for her in rose and bergamot like scent I don't really like links. Um, it was part of a gift set that I got for Christmas. I was just trying to use it up. I don't like links at all. Like even, especially for men, I hate it. I'm just like, no. And luckily the person that bought this for me doesn't watch my video, so that's fine. I'm not being like rude. <laughs> I have a few more shower gels actually to show you. We literally have a shoe box. We cleared out our linen cupboard the other day and we have a shoe box full of like hotel toiletries, like half used. I never use a shampoo and conditioner in hotels, Jas does, but just the shower gels or the body cream, because I love those. I'm home with us, as I'm sure like everyone does, because if you don't, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and so, yeah, we've got two. Of this one isn't even finished, I don't know why it's in here. This is the Espar Bergamo Jasmine and a hint of cedarwood body wash. And oh my God, it smells so good. Mm, it's so nice. Don't know if you could actually buy this, and I guess it'd be quite expensive, because it's Espar. Espar? Espar, I'm pretty sure it's Espar. Now I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly. But yeah, this was from a hotel. It doesn't say which one, which is probably just as well. This one is a Temple Spa one, which is also very fancy. It's called La La Lagoon Aromatic Bath and Shower Gel. Oh, just, do you know what? These high-end shower gels, honestly, they, like, I am too tight to ever purchase a high-end shower gel. Like, what is the point it's just shower gel like i'd rather spend on perfume do you know what i mean and obviously as much as i don't want to spend on them they're incredible they smell so nice so yay for hotels or nice hotels when you stay in them anyway we've got like literally like so many i can't even but like crabtree and evelyn luxatan like anytime we like peter thomas roth god knows what we say that they had those but you know like sometimes the maid just tops you up and you just nick a couple of shower gels it's fine, it's all right, I'm not judging you. I do the same thing. Speaking of hotels, 
we have body cream. <laughs> um, this was actually for my hotel in Rome. It's a Salvatore Ferragamo Tuscan Soul Body Cream. I'm not the biggest fan of like bringing these home. Like shower gel, yeah, I'm all over. I find these quite watery and watered down. I'm quite particular about body cream. This one smells really nice, the Ferragamo one, but it doesn't do much for like dry skin. Whereas Jas is the one that needs to bring everything home and he is probably the one that uses all these too. This one smelled really nice and the Crabtree and Evelyn one's really good but I hate the packaging because it's tiny and you can never get the last bit of the product out. So if I'd have paid for this, obviously I'd be really annoyed. You could cut it open, but you know, I don't really care that much. This is from their Verbena and Lavender collection and it's a body lotion. This one's actually quite thick and creamy and quite like moisturising and I'm pretty sure because we've got loads of these so it must be like a hotel chain that we've stayed in like multiple times that like does these. I feel like it's Hilton like the double trees or something. Anyway speaking of body lotion I've got two here. This was sent to me both of these. It's from a brand called Shea and Moisture and I think they are known for doing like shampoos and conditioners and they have brought out body lotions and shower gels. The shower gel was okay I finished them both ages ago. I have a lot of thoughts on this body lotion because the product itself I really really like. I generally only buy like um you'll have seen it in my videos before but the Garnier for very dry skin um body moisturizer because it's really thick and really creamy and it sinks in easily and it just works on dry skin this was very similar really thick creamy absorbs relatively well and it smells really nice this one was a frankincense and myrrh and it smells really good so we tried to scrape every last bit out but <laughs> The packaging is the worst thing in my entire life. This pumpy thing is just crap. Like you have to like literally give, like have an arm workout trying to get the tiniest bit out. Because the moisturizer is so thick, this kind of packaging does not work. It's got the tiniest little hole for it to like squeeze through. And then cutting the bottle open, I used scissors, I used a kitchen knife, I tried pliers, just attempted it three or four times. It's really thick plastic so it's really hard to cut it open and I was hoping to cut it in a nicer way so I could somehow like you know put one over the top and like save it but no so it dried up into like a really thick like rock thing so that just has to go but yeah that was the frankincense and myrrh and it smells really nice they just need to change that packaging because it's awful they also sent me this one it's called the Song Yi Mushroom. And honestly, like, I can't stand the smell of this. And the other day, Jas, I kept saying to Jas, can you use it as well so we could just use it up? Oh yeah, oh my God, it is so bad. And he was like, what is this? And he was like putting it on, we were both in the bedroom, he was putting it on himself. And I literally just used it on my feet, like the furthest bit away from my nose possible so I couldn't smell it. Cause it's so bad. And he was like, do you know what it smells like? He was like, it smells like, this is really awful and I'm sorry to be so disgusting but I'm just going to tell you that actually I couldn't think of a better way to describe this. He was like, it's like when you've been on a night out and you're super drunk and you've been throwing up and then you wake up and you can still smell the throwing up. Like it's just gross. It's the most disgusting smell. We weren't even going to bother cutting this one open. We did the best that we could. There's a little bit left but we're never going to get that out and it's just, it needs to go. It just, oh awful on a more positive note i'm really sad this is empty i definitely want to buy more of these this is a eucerin dry skin intensive hand cream and it's five percent urea i'm not sure what that means but this to date is the best hand cream i have ever used and particularly now when obviously we're washing our hands and singing happy birthday like 15 times an hour i'm constantly putting hand cream on and this is incredible it's also quite a big size i think like I think the body shop ones are good, but they're so tiny. Um, this one's 75 mil and this is so thick and it absorbs into the skin like really quickly. You can wash your hands like two or three times and it will still be there, like it doesn't wash off completely. And it's really moisturizing, really hydrating. And it's not like perfumed because in the winter and especially like even now because of this whole hand washing thing like every two minutes I get really dry skin on my knuckles and 
you might be able to see it, I don't know, to the point where it kind of cracks and bleeds. It's always on one hand, it used to be on two, but anyway, I don't moisturise nearly enough normally because I always forget, but this is just such a joy to use. It's probably not cheap, but I don't care, like it works, it's amazing and I love it. I'm not going to bin this, I'm going to cut this open after this video and try and scrape as much out as I can because it's just the best hand cream ever and Eucerin, that's what it's called, so don't forget that. You can buy it in boots. This is the Ordinary Advanced Retinol 2%. I think I like this, but it has literally been sat in my bathroom cabinet, back of it, for so long. And the cabinet is like above my heated towel rail. And so I just feel like it's gone off because it's been sat there for so long, I kind of forgot about it. And, and I wouldn't want to risk it with skincare. Like it's fine if it's body moisturizer or whatever, or hair products, but I wouldn't risk it with skincare and put stuff on my face I think is off. But I think I liked it. I don't really remember it's been such a long time. I have two blushes, both of which I loved. This has come from my makeup clear out, so these aren't actually empties, but again, makeup and skincare just needs to go if it's out of date. I adored these blushes. I don't think I've ever hit pan on blush. And I did on these two. They're both from MAC and they're both cream blushes, funnily enough. This one is called Lady Blush and it's just a really nice, soft, natural sort of mauvey pink. It's not like Barbie pink or too cool toned for like my skin tone or anything like that. It was just a really nice like natural shade to use because like I don't like to go too heavy with the blush. I loved this, but it is most definitely off because it is so, so old. And this one's even older, so don't, this one's definitely off. But again, it's a MAC cream blush. This says sample on it, and oh my God, do you know what? This blush is ancient. Just used to have like sample sales at work. And one of his colleagues, who's now friends with both of us, this was like his old, old, old workplace he would like take her to the sample sales, but like, what do you think this she would like? <laughs> and buy me all this makeup. And I never knew that it was her behind it. So I'd be like, oh my God, but really impressed. It'd come home with like great makeup. And then I met her like five years after all this. And she was like, I used to pick out your makeup. And uh, then I was like, I knew it was too good to be true. Like, how would he know what blush I want? And um, anyway, this, the first time I ever used like a bright orange blush, and I'm still obsessed with orange blush. This is called Optimistic Orange, but it says sample on it, so I don't know if Mac ever did it, because I did try and ask in their stores and they didn't have a clue what I was talking about. I now have a powder version that's very similar to this, but oh my God, if you have a skin tone like mine, just try a bright orange blush. I absolutely love them. I'm gonna keep these aside actually, because I'll do the back to Mac thing and get a free lipstick with those. Next I have quite a lot of lipsticks. Three Jeffree Star lipsticks. I loved two out of the three. There's Blue Velvet, the blue one at the top, but it's completely dried out. Like they're so old. I've had them for years, ever since they were first launched, I think. Blue Velvet was just my ultimate blue shade of lipstick, but I'm not repurchasing that because like, who cares? I don't really wear blue lipstick anymore. Although, I would. Who remembers Androgyny? I absolutely loved this, like, mauve nude shade. I wore it all the time. I would repair. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'd buy it. I don't care about makeup enough anymore. To, like, go out of my way to look for who sells Jeffree Star. I mean, it was a really great lipstick. I absolutely loved the shade. And if I ever walked past a shop that had it in stock, I would buy it 100%. I also had Scorpio, which... I mean, I didn't love it as much. I don't think it really suited me that much. It was a little bit too cool toned for me. But I liked it at the time. And, oh, this was a Gerard Cosmetics liquid lipstick. And it was in the shade Gravity. It's from their Hydra Matte collection. It's actually very similar to Scorpio. This is the Gerard Cosmetics one. But I much prefer the shade of this one. It was just a little bit warmer, a bit more like kind of had a brownie undertone which was just a bit too cool for me. Absolutely love this, but it stinks. Like it's definitely off. And my ultimate liquid lipstick, which I loved. And I don't think I'd ever seen anyone else online even talk about Violet Voss liquid lipsticks. It was just the most random thing ever, but I just found it in a shop. In the shade Lust, I wore this to death. Absolutely. Oh, it smells like you can just smell when a liquid lipstick has gone off, but it was just the nicest sort of mauvey tone. I absolutely loved that. Again, all of these I would only repurchase if I was 
like say I was in Sephora and there was really nothing else that I wanted. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't care enough to like go looking for them online. Next I have two of the NYX eyebrow mascaras in the shade Espresso. I use these for ages and actually I didn't think they were that great and now I'm using a clear one and I kind of miss this because I miss the pigment that this has. The brush is really nothing special. I don't miss the brush at all but I do miss the pigment and the colour of this because I don't feel like the pencil alone is enough with just a clear mascara over the top. I also have the Pixi Lash Line Ink, so an eyeliner um, pen, an eyeliner. Wasn't really a fan of this, like the nib for me, I prefer like a, a shorter, like a hard, like a firmer nib. I find it easier to work with. This was just a bit too floppy. This sounds like really dodgy, I'm sorry. Like, I just find it quite hard to work with and do that flick. It wasn't my favorite and I felt like to keep shaking it like halfway through because there wasn't enough pigment coming out. So unless I've just got a faulty one, I don't know, but it wasn't my fave. These I absolutely loved though. These. So this is from Primark, this is the contour and this is a bronzer and it came in a set with a highlight, hated the highlight and it was a set of like three crayons with a sharpener for £3.50 and the contour was my favourite thing ever. I searched high and low for this once this was like running low and they just discontinued it which is just my luck. I managed to find a second one online that somebody was, se was selling or like one of my friends on Depop or something so I had two. But I had people searching it in like different Primark stores whenever they'd visit one. Um, they just don't do it anymore. I even checked in Dublin when I was there. But yeah, it's, it's a shame because these were so nice. I think they were the dupes of the Smashbox ones. The bronzer was okay, but I mean, it was nothing special. The contour was just the best thing ever. And for £3.50, I'd buy the whole pack again if I could, just for that one product. Okay, we're almost at the end, people. We can do this. I have a diffuser. Randomly. I thought it was a good idea to put cleaning products and stuff in this. I don't know why. At the time, I, was, I don't know what I was thinking at the time. I think I just thought because people do like these cleaning product hauls, like a Mrs. Hinch haul. And at the moment, because we're all stuck indoors, social distancing, isolating, whatever, what are we doing apart from cleaning or like decluttering and like watching a ton of Netflix? Like what are we actually doing? And so I feel like I'm constantly like telling my friends and family about these great cleaning products. So I thought I'd tell you guys. But anyway, first up is a diffuser. This was from Aldi, I want to say. Yep, yeah, Aldi. It's their fake Jo Malone range that they do, but this felt really good. It's called the Hotel Collection Number no. 3 in Pomegranate. Pomegranate Noir is one of my favourite Jo Malone scents. Mmm. And this smells like... It doesn't really smell like Pomegranate Noir, but it smells really nice. And it just looks quite fancy, doesn't it? To have in like your toilet or your bathroom. So I really liked that. I definitely repurchased that because it's just a diffuser. Um, I have a toothpaste, in case you guys want to know what toothpaste I use. This is the Colgate Sensitive. I didn't realise how sensitive my teeth are. Like, I've always known I have sensitive teeth, but oh my god. Like, I had this... I went to the dentist about six months ago, and I wanted to get, like, a proper clean thing done. I can't remember. Hydroflow, I think it's called. And oh my god, like, he had to inject my bottom gums like three times to numb it and even then i was like oh because he was like tell me if you feel pain i was like oh and then he injected it like three times to numb it and he was like i've never seen teeth that sensitive this is a hygienist that's been doing his job for like ages and i was like wow like, who knew so now i've just started using sensitive toothpaste because i hate sensodyne do you know what i hate toothpaste that isn't colgate because like who wants like because of this who wants to unscrew a lid and then put your toothpaste on and then like hold your toothbrush and screw it. Like, it's just annoying. And I hate the taste of Sensodyne because, I don't know. Five cleaning empties I thought I'd just quickly talk you through. Zaflora, if you follow Mrs. Hinch, you'll be very familiar with this. I'm not obsessed with Zaflora. In fact, I have quite a lot of Zaflora products just because I've met the brand a few times and like they've gifted me a few bits and a lot I've just bought myself when I used to follow Mrs. Hinch. I'm not that obsessed. I find that actually it gives me a bit of a headache. If I was to spray it like all over my bed and curtains and cushions and sofa like three times an hour like she does, I'd just have a migraine. But at the moment I've been using this like all the time, spraying door handles and whatever before I touch them and the headache bit I just have to get over because you know. 
this is the I just feel so weird doing a cleaning haul. This is the bold two in one with a touch of Lenore freshness gel. In case you wondered what I do my laundry with. I'm not loyal to any brand. Again, this is Lenore Spring Awakening. I'm I'm not this is not a Mrs. Hinch thing. I just I buy whatever I can find that's on offer, as long as it's not powder because I hate all that rubbish. I actually really want a laundry egg and I went searching all over TK Maxx and like wherever because I'd seen them before I knew what they were and then when I realised that they're like really good for the environment and they actually work and they're great, I went searching over like loads of different TK Maxx's towards the end of last year and January, couldn't find one anywhere. But I really want one. So if you guys have any recommendations for laundry eggs, then please let me know. I finished a Mr. M Muscle Kitchen Cleaner in Lemon Fresh. This packaging looks ancient. I actually found these at the bottom of my kitchen like cupboards, right at the back. And I had three of them, two brand new, and this that was like half full. I clearly bought on some sort of three for two offer. Don't particularly like it. I don't like citrus scents at all in cleaning products. So I'm just trying to use them up and I've one down, like two more to go, you know? Again, this was okay. This was actually from Aldi? Yeah, Aldi. Power Force Antibacterial Multi Action Cleaner in this shade, no, in this scent, Lime and Mint. Again, I don't know why I bought this, and I didn't like the clunky packaging, it just felt a bit cheap, because it's Aldi. But I used it up, so yay me. And again, it's citrus. I just don't like citrus things, it's very weird. Last but not least, this is something that I actually found from Mrs. Hinch and I rave about it to all my family and friends. If you haven't tried this cleaning product, you are missing out. It is like the best thing ever. Elbow grease, it's normally like 90p or a pound or whatever. And you get them in like crappy shops. I don't think supermarkets do it. Like pound shops or like, I mean just crappy like savers I think or whatever. This will remove anything. Like it's insane. It's so good. I had this i saw a pound stretcher near my grand's house and i haven't been into a pound stretcher since i was like three because we don't have them in london i don't think and i got really excited so i bought two and like gave my grand one and she was like this is actually really good then i forgot i had one i went past the savers the other day before all this and like bought another one so i've got loads of these they're just so good so yeah definitely buy this and clean everything with it you won't regret it I'm now surrounded by empty products and I'm running late because I need to go out for my daily Boris walk or whatever we're calling it before the sun goes down. So I'm going to end this video here. I really hope you enjoyed seeing my empties. Please let me know if you want to see more cleaning products. I mean, there's obviously not going to be that many, but if you do, then let me know. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.